Hi, I'm Andy Harris, the Tech Homeschooler, and today I want to show you one of my favorite free applications, Google Earth. This is an amazing, amazing tool that lets you do all kinds of exciting and wonderful things. It's basically a digital globe, but it does so many more very exciting things. Well, uh, the first thing you do is download this thing. It works on all the major operating systems, and it's entirely free. Uh, the other thing is, if you've got a three-button mouse, you really want to hook that thing up. Uh, this thing is great with a mouse that has a scroll wheel. Uh, there's some controls that you can use. Um, so you can zoom in and zoom out and pan and change your orientation. But it's probably easier to use a mouse. If you've got a three-button mouse, we can use the scroll wheel to zoom in. And then you can use the left arrow to pan and then press on the scroll wheel to tilt. And that turns out to be pretty useful when we get down to the ground. So we're going in, we're going in. Let's go into um, Indianapolis. I know what we're going to do. We're going to go visit where I work because it's a kind of a cool place. So we get down, and as we get down low, it's something amazing happens. In certain parts of the world, you will see there actually are three-dimensional buildings. And there they are. The buildings are popping out in 3D with accurate textures on them. So we can actually see the buildings. That's the building I work in. And go, there's the library. And so we can actually look around and see this campus in 3D. Oh, that's cool. But wait, there's more. If you act now, we'll zoom in even tighter. I'm going to go over here on the road. We'll get down here on the road. And in certain places, if you get in really close, you get to what's called a street view. The street view is where those Google cars with the cameras have driven around, and actually you're seeing photos. Don't worry, they're not in real time. This is not happening at the moment. Um, but you can see panoramic views, actual photos of various places. And we can uh, kind of do a little time warp in DeLorean and, uh, and see the whole place. This is the office I work in. Sadly, I do not work in the tube, but that would be cool. Uh, and you can see there's some of my students. Hey, get to class. And there's a car about to run us over. So let's exit out of this thing. Uh, but that's a lot of fun. You can find street view of uh, most places in the, in the United States if it's a well-populated area and a number of other places throughout the world. So I know what you got to do right now, right? Go, go check out your house. Yeah, do that and then come back because we've got more. Um, we can spin this thing around. If you get uh, confused, check the little map up here and make sure that north is where you think it is because that's an easy way to get yourself confused. There we go. Well, we can do all these exciting things. We can find all of these interesting places. But let's say we want to find some place we don't know about. Well, one thing we could do is we could just type it into this fly to box. I want to find a place in Germany where I was born. Baumholder, Germany. I was an army brat. I got to live all over the place. I was a pretty lucky kid. So here we go. We're going to Germany. Oh, <laughs> it was already there. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and take that little tab out so I can show you how I added it. You can delete these things. Yeah, no, I'm going to delete it. So we're zooming on into Baumholder. Hey, look at that. It looks just like I remember it. No, I'm kidding. Actually, we left when I was two. I have no idea. All right, so there it is. I like this place. I want to remember it so I can come back another time. Well, you can go to the menu, and under Add, you can add a place mark. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but it pops up a little dialog. And in that dialog box, you can type in a new name. Andy was born here. And you can do more interesting things. You can change the color of the thumbtack and so on. But now there's a thumbtack there. And even if we zoom back on out of there, we can still see that little place mark there in the middle of Germany. So anytime we're looking at Germany, we can see where I was born. Oh, and I know you want that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yes, it's very cool. Now when we look back over at this places menu, you can see a list of all of the places that I've marked. And you can do this too. When you start marking places on your map, You'll have them all here, and you can jump directly to them. I'm going to take you to another one. I got to uh, live in Japan when I was in high school. So we'll immediately go over there. Look how we zoomed over, and there we are. Somebody actually made 3D models of all the houses on this base. I have no idea what they're thinking. Um, but that's pretty cool. So you can see that's a house that I lived in when I was in high school. Zoom back out. You'll see something I never saw when I was there, because there was always a lot of pollution. So we come here a little bit, and you'll see it's not far from something you probably recognize. Look at that! There's Mount Fuji. Yeah, we live right in the shadow of Fuji. 
Never saw the darn thing. Uh, beautiful mountain though. Um, so that's really cool, isn't it? Oh, yes it is. So one of the things you could do is uh, you could take a look at things that you're studying in school. If you're doing some work on stories from various parts of the world, or you're learning some geography or some history, you can actually view the places where these various things happen. You can see it in pretty good detail. You could also make a list of uh, these, these little bookmarks for places that you want to go and, and, and talk about. If you want to talk about, say, uh, a mission project or something, you can do that. Uh, another neat thing you might want to do is take a look in the places there's already a built-in thing called the sightseeing tour. And this is pretty fun. If you click on that start tour here, what it does, it creates a little slideshow. And it takes you to all these amazing places. It's going to start with the Statue of Liberty. Now, uh, it may take a little while for all of these things to come in because it's pulling data off of the internet. Um, but you can see there's the Eiffel Tower and you can see all the stuff around it. I've got it set up so I could click on some, those little boxes are pictures of things we could click on. Um, you can click on some of the buildings and get more information. Let's move to the next thing. It takes us someplace stunning. Uh, we're looking over Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and there's that famous Christ the Redeemer statue. And you can see just the beautiful countryside. That is really neat. There's much, much more, and you can see it take you around and see these incredible places and then of course you can stop and control it yourself and move around and see what's going on and see uh, what the mountains are like and go into the city and all of that very exciting stuff. Well this is fun isn't it? Oh yes it is. I hope you and your family enjoy using it uh, and come back next month because I've got even more exciting stuff to show you in next month's article. We'll talk about how to search for buried treasure, how to find live web cameras, and even how to get into an F-16 plane and fly around these places. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, I'll see you next time. Have a blessed month.